Right, now let's uh, move on to Afghanistan because an independent commission there has blamed poor leadership for the fall of the city of Kunduz to the Taliban. Now, you may remember the armed group took over the northern city in late September and held it for 15 days. Well, the commission's report concluded that security forces lacked coordination, but it credited a US airstrike with stopping the Taliban from overrunning an army base on the city's outskirts. Let's now talk to our correspondent Jennifer Glass, who's in the Afghan capital, Kabul. Um, and this uh, doesn't pull any punches, does it, this, re this report, uh, criticising the government for a lack of security in Kunduz. That's right, Martine. This was an independent commission headed by Amrullah Saleh, a former intelligence chief here, and he said it would be a very serious report, that they were independent. They say that the government says it will listen to their findings, which says there was no evidence of any conspiracy in the government, but really the fall of Kunduz to the Taliban, of course, the first major city to fall to the Taliban since they were ousted from power in 2001, uh, really was down to weak leadership, poor coordination among security services, uh, the different security services in in Kunduz at the time, the army, the police, the local police, intelligence services all had really different strategies for dealing with the situation and the command structure far too complicated. They said some forces say they never even got the order uh, to uh, fire their weapons when the Taliban took the city. And just to give you a sense, Martine, of how chaotic it was on that very first day that the Taliban took the city, the 28th of September, on that day they captured 37 uh, government vehicles armored and non-armored and at about about a thousand weapons and it was the following day that the Afghans asked for US help uh, for that airstrike uh, they say that without that airstrike the uh, uh, ta Taliban would have overrun Kunduz airport which is the uh, army base the head of the base and would have had even more control over the city it would have been much worse and Jennifer this is a real indictment isn't it of the Afghan government which is supposed now to be managing its own security its uh, security forces are supposed to have been trained uh, by uh, US and other uh, international forces, aren't they? That's right, Martine. And I think one of the things that was so striking is the Taliban actually launched their spring offensive in Kunduz in late April. The police uh, and other security forces around uh, Kunduz city in the districts around Kunduz city were under pressure for months. And the report uh, stated that the, uh, they, they just didn't get the support from the government that they needed. A lot of lessons to be learned uh, by the Afghan security forces here. Again, about the poor coordination. Really, we, our team was up there a couple of times over the summer and noticed that the security services really weren't communicating with each other. The, you had uh, the army uh, in some areas of the town, the local police, and in some villages it was the local villagers who took care of their own security because there was just nobody there to protect their villages. So a lot of lessons to be learned. I think a very, very uh, stark message to the Afghan government about the state of their security forces. Of course, we now know that U.S. forces and NATO forces will remain here for another year at least. They were scheduled to get out of here by the end of the uh, this year or drop their numbers dramatically by the end of this year but they're going to keep their numbers about 13,000 NATO security forces uh, here in ta uh, here in Afghanistan uh, trying to help train advise and assist the Afghan security forces but in Kunduz as you say Martine they certainly know that without American help it would have been much worse all right Jennifer thank you very much Jennifer Glass reporting live from a rather noisy Kabul